Hi friends! The address function takes row and column numbers and returns a cell reference as a text string. Let's see how the address function can be used in Microsoft Excel. Open the desired Excel worksheet. Here for demo purpose, we are using a worksheet according to the address function. Please check the web URL given in the video description below this video for complete details, that is syntax and remarks. We are also showing you the description of each function we are going to use here. In the first example, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals address, open parentheses, a numeric value that specifies the row number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the column number to be used in the cell reference, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the absolute reference. In the second example, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals address, open parentheses, a numeric value that specifies the row number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the column number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the type of reference to return, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the absolute row and relative column. In the third example, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals address, open parentheses, a numeric value that specifies the row number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the column number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the type of reference to return, comma, a logical value that specifies the A1 or R1C1 reference style, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the absolute row, relative column, R1C1 reference style. In the fourth example, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals address, open parentheses, a numeric value that specifies the row number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the column number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the type of reference to return, comma, a logical value that specifies the A1 or R1C1 reference style, comma, open quotes, a text value that specifies the name of the worksheet to be used as the external reference, close quotes, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the absolute reference to another workbook and worksheet. In the fifth example, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals address, open parentheses, a numeric value that specifies the row number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the column number to be used in the cell reference, comma, a numeric value that specifies the type of reference to return, comma, a logical value that specifies the A1 or R1C1 reference style, comma, open quotes, a text value that specifies the name of the worksheet to be used as the external reference, close quotes, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the absolute reference to another worksheet. Hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching. For more details, click on the I icon on the top right of the video. Check out our iYogi channel for self-help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.